so let's start by creating a new project so I click on new project and I'm greeted by this interface so let me briefly tell you what each of these uh, boxes in this interface means the first box here on the left as you can see here is where you will find all the resources and where you will store all your files so be it the videos you're going to download from YouTube the voiceover pictures titles anything that is going to go into your timeline will all be available in this box this is as it says a player anything you click it will play here so this is just a player all right and any information that you need for your file you can find it here okay so what is the file size what is the file type what is the file location what is the file name if it has a proxy if it doesn't have a proxy if it has a free layer everything is here if you want to manipulate your files okay change the nature of your files be it audio or video or picture it's going to happen here and this at the bottom is your timeline this is where the magic happens where you actually put everything together okay so that's your interface now let's quickly see how we can import the files all right so if i click on import i will i can go to my hard drive where i have all the files that i want to work with i want to bring a folder this whole folder called clips from youtube okay so i'm going to click on import and you can see the whole folder came if you want to bring a specific file you can click on import again and you can select one file just one file and you can import and that one file will come outside all right so um, so you can just because this file is already available inside this folder so I'm going to delete it now what, what do I want what do I need I need f uh, all the clips from YouTube I need the voiceover right and I need I needed music so these are the three elements that I need to show you how to edit a video essay on CapCut so let me bring in the voiceover as well now the voiceover I'm going to bring is unedited which means it is just the way I recorded it so it might have some retakes so um, you can clean it up and you can bring it or you can clean it here as well so I'm going to click on the folder called VO voiceover and I'm going to click on import now I have not really made up my mind on music but I'm going to just bring in the music as we go along now this is a demo I'm just using this opportunity this particular script on rear window to show you how the edit can happen uh, you can obviously be much more organized and much more detailed as far as your project is concerned all right so let's begin how do I begin now my starting point is actually voiceover you know but because I want to populate my timeline and I want to get into a particular project setting a particular resolution a particular setting for I will be editing I will try to bring a file from the B from the YouTube videos to the timeline the moment I bring it suppose I'm just gonna show you an example I'm gonna just drag and drop this inside here and I can see the entire video is here whatever I downloaded from there from the uh, from YouTube now if you look at in this window the player and you can see something something called ratio here it's very interesting if you click on ratio you'll see that it is showing me the original what is the original the original is 7, 720 frame member if i click on customize and you can see you can change the resolution you can see you can change your resolution so easily if you want suppose decide okay my video essay should be a, a vertical one like what you see in TikTok, for example, you click on nine by sixteen, and that's it. You get a TikTok vertical video. Uh, although my idea is to stick to original, so I'm going back to original. But what I want to show you is that if you go to customize, you will see that the project setting that uh, is here is actually full HD, which is nine nineteen twenty by ten eighty. But I want it to be 720 because most of my video files are 720 i don't want it to be full hd i can change it i can click on this and i can type 720 and 1280 that is the 16 is to 9 wide aspect ratio of a 720 project so i'm going to change it to a customized my own customized resolution everything else is fine that is the frame rate i want and i click on save all right so now I am working on a 720 project because that will make sure that it is matching to all the clips I'm going to bring into the timeline. Now I can keep it aside or I can delete it doesn't matter. Now I can work on the voiceover. Now you can keep consulting your uh, 
script while you're editing that's a very good practice so that's all we covered in this particular lesson in the next lesson i'm going to show you how to start editing so what we will do is it will first edit the voiceover and then we'll start bringing shots which matches the voiceover yeah that's what we're going to be doing in the next video